else we got? American Skin. So the the one thing I wanted to talk talk on this one that I really wanted to hit right off the bat is how these like Rotten Tomatoes. Let's say twenty seven percent. Yeah, bro. Where were we at? IMDb gives it a 5.9 out of 10. That was better than what I saw. It was at a 4 point something before. Rotten Tomatoes gives it a 27%, bro. IndieWire gives it a 1 out of 5. Like, who who's running these? You know what this I mean? This is all personal. Like, this is, this is nothing to do with the movie. But it says 90. Google's. Because I read some of these comments and it was just. Was all the comments said nothing but good. I, I literally seen. No, when we talking about the negative ones. Oh, okay. Like when you see the negative ones, it was literally people talking about Nate Parker personally and with his own, per- like, you know, he had uh, some rape charges and shit. Like, when I see stuff like that, I just check out, like, okay, this has nothing to do with the movie. They're attacking the person. So some of those comments are in there where it's like... What are, are those rape allegations legit? I mean, I don't even, let's not even dig uh, into that. That's typically what they do when... Well, he was, he was, he got... He, Got cleared of the charges. He's cleared of that, so, so let's. He's a he's he's solid, he's solid. so we're not even gonna. Yeah, it don't matter. And um, yeah, I looked at a couple of them, and they, a lot of them don't have nothing to do with the movie, so I just kind of stopped looking. Like, oh, I, I wanted to hear people's like, I wanted Take. to see what if there's any credibility to it, and I don't think it is. There's all. ulterior motives at play. Yeah. Well, it's a con- it's it's a very controversial movie, so. Yeah. So, so I would as- almost expect to see these scores be low as this with the type of movie that it is. You it know? felt like I thought it was a Spike Lee joint because his name popped up at I the thought end. It, was too, yeah. it felt like a Spike Lee joint, to be honest. I mean, he did an interview with him, with him too. He was involved. He collaborated he in, in some. I don't know what his involvement is. I think he was just an executive producer. He just put his name right. behind it to give it a little juice. Yeah, that might have been but uh, Nate Parker is directed by Nate Parker. He was in. You may have remembered him from uh, the group. What is it? The Debaters. Great the Debaters. debaters yeah. Red Tails. Um, I think he's a dope actor on the come up in the, his directorial. Birth of a Nation. Birth of a ne- Nation. His his directorial yeah. excerpts I think are dope. Um, so far I haven't checked out Birth of a Nation. Oh yeah, you gotta go. I'm gonna check, check it out. I didn't even know it dropped, so that's just that's my bad. But 16, yo. I love this movie. But first, I want to get into just for the sake of uh, diversity, I want to get Matt's perspective first. Uh, no, I thought it was. I, the word I wrote down when I was watching it was powerful. I thought it was a powerful film. Run us through the whole joint. It was powerful for sure. Yeah. Um, you want you mean like a just run us through it. it? Yeah, just run it. Just run us through it. Yeah. Take us through your opinion. Yeah, I mean, I just, just what was your takeaway from the movie after watching it as a whole? Besides powerful, like what did you the, take away? The message. I think the message it sent out was that. Um, I think it was just shedding light on what was going on, what's going on in the world now, uh, as far as as racism and and. Did you have any f- different feelings about race relations after watching this movie? Is any difference takeaway that you? Personally, I didn't have any difference. No, but I okay. haven't. I'm probably not the person to ask about that. Right. You know, but <laughs> um, yeah. I think it, I think it could though. Uh, yeah. Get, like uh, overall, uh, achieve that with yeah. some people. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I think it gave a good perspective as to each point of view in situations like that, and and uh, kind of it did a really good job of. When you say each point of view, what you mean? So like the, um, the father of the son who got killed, um, the police officers, uh, the um, everyday citizens. So just so everybody else knows, that the movie's about a a. a a black kid getting shot by the cops just like kind of like what we've been seeing a lot in the last we it's been happening for decades but obviously more publicized and then a father dealing with that experience and then there the cops dealing with that the media and them trying to basically get a grip on everything but mm-hmm. go ahead so all of their perspectives y'all yeah, did a great job of giving everybody's perspective um i think the end uh, summed it up really well too with uh without trying to give away any uh um give away the ending for people who haven't seen it but um no we could give it you want to give away that spoiler spoiler Spoiler. if you don't want to hear the spoilers get out of here so yeah i mean i think the the way it ended where um he had the opportunity to kill the police officer or it looked like he was gonna and decided not to um how'd you feel about that what would you what did you want him to do i was indifferent about it because it 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 would have been a powerful message for him to do it Mm-hmm. But when um, 
when he had the phone call with his with his son and stuff. Having kids, I think, put, gives you a different perspective on that. Like, yeah. I, I think I if I was in his position, I wouldn't have done it either because because of that. I knew once he sh- he let him talk to his son on the Facetime that happen. he he wasn't yeah. gonna kill him. It, right. it was too. It got way too yeah. emotional. Yep. And I was hoping that he was gonna kill him. And I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> but it says you would have killed him. Yeah, if my son was killed, I would yeah. I would have. See, and that's the that. other thing. I can't really put myself in that position to. To, to to imagine that. Yeah, because I might yeah. at that point too. With, with if it was my son, I wouldn't. I, I don't know if I would have gave a fuck. About that's my. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know how I feel it's about like, that. Man. It's like it was basically them saying him saying the character like. I'm a good person. I don't want anybody else to experience what, what I've I just experienced. experienced. Yeah. But I think he kind of, he almost gave him what, what he experienced. Almost not, feels like. not the exact same, but he got him to that point by, you know, with with, with pulling the trigger with a, with a blank in it. Yeah. And I think that he, I think he really was just saying, I think he came there knowing he wasn't going to do that. Yeah, I, right. think, I think you're right. Like, yeah. I'm not yeah. going to kill him. I yeah. know for a fact. Even though he said, I, I think he knew. Like, I'm not going to. I want to teach him this lesson mm-hmm. this way. What was unsatisfying for me was the fact that nobody was killed in the whole scheme of it. Other than him himself at the end of the movie. No, yeah. no cops. Nobody was punished, which is, I guess, consistent with what goes on today. I was going to say, I think that was the message. That's right. So it's basically a real life perspective. So going in there, I had my hopes. I had, you know, and then I realized like, all right, this is a, this movie is a a realistic, real take, which I think they delivered. Mm -hmm. I think they delivered it the best out of all the recent movies that what, what a, the, a similar one was like Queen and Slim right and that yeah. was that was more like our fairy tale yeah. version of it right yeah. cause, cause I didn't even I didn't even get yeah. to check Queen and Slim I would say The Hate You Give did you see that one too The Hate it You came out like old 19 yeah that was a good one too yeah. it um, sounds very similar, familiar I can't it's a similar yeah. kind of story you should check it out deep. if you haven't seen it I'll check we'll, it out we'll talk about that another time but that's a, The Hate You Give you gotta check that one so I felt like the acting was completely on point for me. Uh, I didn't really care for the kid, the docu, the uh, the documenting kid, whatever the yeah, kid's yeah, name. Yeah. He drops the name of the movie in his speech during the jury section. Um, but I, it was some strong moments in there, like him holding his own court. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. feeling like we're not getting. A fair shake in in the in this current systems court. That was genius writing. I like to do that. I love that. Um, yeah. They brought out the prisoners. You know what I'm saying? They what? Uh, they made it tough for the cops. They put the cops in a position where the odds were stacked against them. Which is completely the opposite. I I I like when he said, "You're gonna let them decide our fate." Right. And he was yeah. like, "Welcome to my world." Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so it, it was it was a wake up call for the people who because. Believe it or not, people are still very divided on these lines, and there's still a large oh, you gap. You can see that on your Google reviews. You can <laughs> that Facebook. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's you it divided pe- on what? Just you know, blue lives matter, black lives matter. Oh, like, there's all still lives matter. There's still not like cl- there's not clarity there. There's not a a common, um, like, consistent thinking on on what's happening here when these things happen. Everybody, you know, you got. Uh, the white people I don't want to get like two color uh, specific with this but people that believe that oh you know people die every day or they want to pull up the uh, black black people kill more black people than cop and it's and it's like all of these things that that are very standard in conversation today about these issues are actually addressed in the movie which I thought was Dope. Like all, and I feel like a lot of people need to get this. They need to see this movie. Whether I think this movie should be played in every season, um, yeah. every home in America. Whether they agree with it or not, you know what I mean. They they should take in this these perspectives. Anyways, it's probably pro urban culture perspective because it's you know more so. But but it does like I said, it does a good job of giving everybody's perspective to it. Right. So you I mean you get the cops so perspective. When you hear those officers say that bullshit, they were saying it's like. You get to see the conflict within the cops. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You get to see the Latino get at the, mm-hmm. the, 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 the Latinos that's doing right and then the get at the gangster, how they feel about the gangster Latinos who are, you know, that's a, that's a whole wave too. You know what I mean? So everything gets addressed to me on this subject. Um, it ends out perfectly, just exactly. It didn't 
we obviously didn't want him to get killed at the end of the movie, but he gets killed. The media, obviously, did their it was, thing as it usual. Was, it was perfect how they showed the media telling a different side of the story that right. that yeah, was connections to yeah. radical, exactly that terrorists. Brought up his army background and shit. And that's what happens. They the media will put their spin on it. You know what I mean? The media he he surrendered, came out with his hands up, and they still shot him anyways. And so the media had to protect the police and obviously give the side of the story, villainize them, demonize them. Mm -hmm. um, and that that does happen. And I think it's good that 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 was the most powerful part to me. That I feel like people are starting to be aware of that more people really need to understand that and hold the media accountable because the media is just as powerful as the government. The media is it, more powerful than the government. It, the media is the government's voice in a lot of times, in a lot of cases. It could be, in, but we see in Trump's, uh, it worked against Trump, you know what I mean? So what, which government are we talking about here? You know I what mean, I mean? So the, the media is, is a weapon for whoever is whoever's wielding that weapon. It's, it's, it's being used against us and it's being used however they want it to be used. So. This one was an eye opener. It, it made me uh, get into my uh, propaganda book. That's why I made a post on uh, Facebook about propaganda. But it just to let you know, give me some insight on how the masses are controlled and how they're conditioned to ideas and how they are forced to react against certain things. But I love the movie. I give it a seven. <laughs> I give it a seven, and that's and that's pretty high for me. Um, but I feel like it accomplished everything it set out to, and it's getting shitty reviews, and I, I completely disagree with these reviews. With that being said, I give it a solid eight. A solid one? A solid eight, it's considering... A, it's a classic to you, then. I think it's rewatchable. I think it should be played in every house in America. I think it should be played in schools. I think this is one of the movies that should be... I, I, I do think it should be played in schools, but... Yeah, man, this shit, damn near, I mean, a lot of this shit brought tears in my eyes a little bit. You're you're an emotional one. I, I mean... That's that light skin dream again. Hey. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, though. It has been getting tougher for me to, it, like, hold in some of these tears. It got real emotional for me, a lot of uh, the scenes. For sure, yeah. Not this one, but, like, even, like, some of the kids' movies I watched with my had, son. That's because like, you got kids. That's what happened to me, too. As soon as you have kids, it's... <laughs> like, if you watch, like, I just uh, got kids. <laughs> Trolls, I, I was holding in tears on Trolls. You know what I'm saying? Like... It's, but that's another one. But yeah, solid yeah. eight from you. Cartoons now. This movie is amazing, and it does the best job of explaining all perspectives I've ever seen. Where are you at with your number, Matt? I'm I'm gonna get, I'm gonna say if without the message being on point as it is, I'd say seven. But with the message being the way it is, I'm gonna go eight. And just because of the shitty reviews, I'm putting it higher too. And the reason why I wanted Matt's perspective first is because he's unique to all of us in the fact that he's a white guy. But he's got mixed children. You know what I mean? He's his son is black, so his heart is gonna be tugged at and picked at a different different way. You know what I mean? So, it I I really wanted to hear your take on it because you got a lot of things going on. You know what I mean? But you're obviously gonna be on the pro black side because of your affiliation. So, but I just wanted to get that take. Taurus, where you at with the number? Man, I had to go with a solid eight, man. This was a good, good movie overall. The acting was great, storyline was great. It oh. was just, it was a realistic. I didn't see any flaw in the movie. Yeah, I mean, we felt the characters like we was talking about the the little nephew when the when the office, the chief of police, come to the crib and. We just felt that that was like a real when like, the little dude was like, "No, nigga, yeah, get the fuck, get out, the fuck out, out of here." It did feel like a real fuck nigga. Yeah, that dude needs some. He needs some more. Yes. Uh, fuck you talking about more, fuck uh, nigga. Man, coming, coming at the cops. Um, it was real yeah. emotion. It felt yeah. real. No, he, he it, it made me forget I was watching a movie for a second. I gave it an eight. Yeah. That's another reason I gave it eight because it, it just it just yeah. brought the emotion out of you. That yes. that made me feel Spike Lee though. I felt like Spike Lee was behind yeah. that part. I could see that. But you just really felt every word he said, and it's it's just super relatable. This is how we he's speaking for the audience, like everything he's saying. That's how we feeling to the. We want to say this shit to these police officers when they're in our house. Right. This is what we would say to them if they. Right. In, it's just, my it's house, like nigga. nah, no negotiate, no peace, man. Like y'all y'all fucked up. You can't bring my people back. Yeah, like nigga, I'm not trying to sit here, here and like, make it right. And the cops sitting there like they they brought the black chief in there, of course. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. So. Yeah, what he said was on point. They they want to. Make us be peaceful when they yeah. do shit. Then 
they want to, you right. know, turn violent when shit happens to them. And they expect us to be peaceful when bad shit happens to us. So It's a good movie, yeah. man. We got you guys all three. Uh, give it an eight, right? I'm, I'm giving it an eight, man. It's I'm giving it a seven. Man. So I'll, I'll say that I, I'm going to have to be as the... As the this is not a classic territory for you. As the as the minority voice in here, I'm gonna have to make that a seven point nine. We can't give that an eight. Why can't you give it? I mean, eight? average. If you take the average, it's about uh, seven point six. What, or what, 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 what three eights and a seven? What would have made it an eight for you, bro? Three eights and a seven. I think it's seven. I, I'm just. It's tough for me. I gotta be. Point seven five. I gotta be overwhelmingly compelled. Which this did. This was a compelling movie. With him killing the officer, would that have? Pushed it up a notch for you. It would have been different because I did that. Did kind of set me back a little bit. It would have been different for me. I, I, all my needs were met here, yeah. but it wasn't. Uh, I wasn't. It, it, I don't know. It, I just my needs were met, but it didn't overwhelmingly amaze me. Um, on top of that, though, I do. On a side note, I feel like Nate Parker might be the new Denzel. Maybe. We just got to see a little more range from him as a, a more emotional range. But I got the tears when I needed the tears. I got the aggression when I needed the aggression. I was a little let down by uh, Ghost's character in there because I thought he was going to get to killing because he was on his deathbed, you know what I mean? But yeah. but uh, it wasn't perfect, I'll say that. Perfect, I don't. we haven't really seen it yet, you know what I mean? So... I'm not giving up over an eight unless I mean, it's... What, I don't think there's ever going to be a perfect type of one of these movies. It's an above average movie. And that's what I'm saying when I give it a seven. There's some flawless movies out here. It has potential flaws. to be a classic. That's it has potential it to be a classic. Yeah. With how movies are coming out now, though, on the yeah. streaming, it's going to be tough now. Yeah. So, but we give it a 7.9 or 8. My math is, I'm not a mathematician. 7.75 is what it was. Something like that, 7.75. Yeah. What else we got? We got One Night in Miami. 